Hi, this is Robert from Lucidworks. In today's Fusion Learning Series, I'll be discussing how to configure Active Directory Security Tribune for a SharePoint 2013 collection. I'll be going over a brief overview of security within Fusion, uh, SharePoint permissions, uh, security trimming, and then finally a demo. This is our architecture overview of Fusion. <coughs> We will be concentrating on the security layer that protects access to our collections through security trimming. SharePoint permissions, just a high level. Um, there's group and individual user permissions. So this can be set explicitly for pages on your SharePoint site or on document lists. So permissions are, are usually inherited from the parent site uh, unless you explicitly uh, set permissions. Um, read permissions are needed to crawl uh, and index your SharePoint site and also uh, to search content. The, uh, the concept behind security trimming is to mirror the uh, grouping user permissions um, that, uh, that are present in your SharePoint site uh, on, your in, on, on, the, in, on the data that's being indexed. So we use Active Directory as, um, to compare the, the permissions of the uh, users who, who's logged into Fusion to uh, what they have access for to in the SharePoint collection. So any changes to the permissions uh, within your SharePoint uh, site or, or document list will require re-indexing um, to, to make those changes present within your search index. This is a quick overview of our Fusion LDAP authentication. Uh, so user credentials are, um, are passed in, are binded with the, uh, with the base DN uh, and this, uh, this request is sent uh, to, uh, to Active Directory uh, where if everything goes well, you'll be returned with, uh, Fusion will return the, uh, the ACL, the list of ACLs, access control lists for that user, and we'll compare these access control lists to uh, the ones that are associated with the document in the index. So for this demo, I'll be using this sample SharePoint site that I created. Um, it contains uh, a master site, uh, Lucidworks, with uh, two subsites, um, human resources and engineering. Each site has, has uh, a, a set number of documents. It's a very uh, basic example to kind of demonstrate, um, demonstrate how the permissions are carried over from SharePoint uh, to, to the index. So let's take a quick look at who's it shared with. So I have, uh, I created two groups, uh, one called Lucidworks Human Resources, which has access to um, the, the, the main site and also the Human Resources page. And also have, I created a, I created a group uh, for the um, for the engineering. So these these are uh, these are Active Directory groups that I've uh, that I've used for uh, uh, for the SharePoint site. Let's go ahead and uh, let's all get ahead and get started. So I'm going to log in as admin. I'm going to go ahead and create a new collection. I'll name this, since I'll be indexing from SharePoint 2013, I'll name this SP 2013. So now I have an empty collection. I would like to go in. <clears throat> the first thing I want to do is configure my data source. So um, under the data sources menu, I'm going to select repository and SharePoint. 
I'm going to click the advanced options to use the to import the uh, the LDAP details. I'm going to give my SharePoint data source name. Pipeline, I'm going to use um, the documents boxing pipeline. Let's take a look at the stages. So we have uh, the, the Apache Tika parser, which is the most important stage. This will, the Tika uh, parser allows documents in, uh, in different formats to be parsed. Uh, such as Word documents, PDFs, so we're able to extract that content from, from the documents, which will be helpful in, uh, when I crawl my, uh, my document libraries in my site. So let me go ahead and add this dot link to, to my site. I want I want to crawl the entire site, so I'm not going to set a depth. Let's go to the important things. Of, um, I want to include security training. This will allow uh, Fusion to index the access control list for each document, and I'll show those once um, once we have data in the index. So open the fetcher. I'm going to have my um, my crawl user credentials. My SharePoint domain is WinLab. And everything looks good. I'm going to add the uh, the LDAP host. So I'm setting these. Uh, I'm setting this to point to my Active Directory. I have an unsecured port, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it 389. My search base. Um, this is the search base of my of my domain. So we want to tell where, uh, where, to, where to search uh, for users um, and where to get the credentials. So I, have a, I give it the, the base, um, which is essentially the, uh, the domain, which would be win.lab.lucidworks.com. And I'm, that's all that needs to be set. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Let's go ahead and start the crawl. I've uh, picked up 40 documents. So the, the way the, the crawler works is that it's, um, it uh, also parses the, um, the, web, the, the SharePoint website, so that's why um, it will be, it'll be a mix of, of, um, of content from the website and also the documents. Okay, so let me do a, a quick search. And we see that uh, that the site has been indexed. Let's look at some of the fields. Um, the field we want, um, where we're going to be com using, comparing the uh, ACLs is uh, this ACL field. Here we have the uh, the SharePoint groups and users who are allowed access to uh, this particular document. I'm going to go ahead and modify my query pipeline. I go into query pipelines. I'm going to use a, uh, the one that Fusion created for my collection, which is SP2013 default. I'm going to go ahead and add the security trimming stage. Um, we're not going to send any condition. We're going to have it run all the time. <clears throat> Right away, you see the search widget is updated uh, with zero results. That is because uh, there is no user admin 
um, who has access to, uh, to my collection. So I'm actually going to move uh, this stage right before Query Solar. Okay, so to test the to trim documents, I'm going to go ahead and log out uh, of the admin. I've set up a previous realm, which is our, which is the same Active Directory realm that uh, hosted, um, that hosts our SharePoint, um, our SharePoint installation. So I'm going to log in with an HR user. That's, that's the HR group I showed you earlier. Let's go ahead and log in. <coughs> We have 40 total documents uh, in, uh, in our collection. Mary should be able to see just the subset of documents, which would be um, the main site and human resources. So let's go ahead and click. Here we have, we found 31 documents. So these documents uh, seem, seem to be representative of the, um, based on, on what she's allowed to see within SharePoint. To make sure I'm going to scroll through some of these. I'm going to go ahead and log out as Mary, and I'm going to actually do a test with our engineering group. Select the same collection. Let's scroll through some of the documents. So here we have the project charter and, and the implementation, which we see here um, on our SharePoint site. Great, okay, so that concludes uh, my demo of Active Directory security training for your SharePoint. I invite you to visit our other videos um, on our YouTube channel. Thank you for your time.